What's up, folks? Welcome back to our channel. Got ants turning your pristine lawn into their little ant city? No stress, we've got you covered. Today, we're diving into how to get rid of ants in the grass. Buckle up, it's gonna be a wild ride. Get rid of it! Understanding your antagonists. Okay, first things first, let's meet our tiny intruders. See, not all ants are lawn wreckers. Some, like field ants, are actually your grass's buddies. They aerate the soil and control other pests. But troublemakers like fire ants and carpenter ants? Not so much. So how do you tell who's who? Check out their nests. Fire ants build noticeable mounds, while carpenter ants love your woodwork. Get up close and personal, maybe snap a few pics, then match them with online images. That's how you identify your culprits. DIY and control. Got the bad guys? Then it's time to roll up your sleeves. You've got some handy household stuff to help. Dish soap and water? Yes, it works. Mix one part soap with two parts water in a spray bottle. Then give those ant trails and nests a good soaking. Boom, their scent trails are gone. Ever heard of diatomaceous earth? This powdery substance is like a bed of nails for ants. Sprinkle it around their nests and pathways, and they'll be like, nope, not crossing that. Now, if you're up for a quick, albeit a bit brutal method, consider boiling water. Yep, you heard that right. Boiling water poured directly into the ant hill can exterminate the ants. However, be careful. This method can harm beneficial insects and your grass too. Use it sparingly and only when necessary. How about a sweet and salty trap? Mix equal parts baking soda and powdered sugar. The ants will be drawn to the sugar and carry the deadly baking soda back to their colony. Crafty, huh? Nature has its own bug busters. Essential oils like peppermint, citrus, and tea tree can repel ants. Just mix a few drops with water. Put it in a spray bottle and cover your grass. But remember, don't go overboard. Too much can harm your lawn. Did you know that ants hate the smell of vinegar? Spraying a solution of equal parts water and vinegar can discourage them from setting up camp in your lawn. It's like telling them, sorry, we're full. Biological control. Ever thought of fighting fire with fire? Let's talk about biological control methods. These are ways to manage pests, like ants, using other living organisms that are natural enemies to those pests. For ants in your lawn, we're talking about ant-eating birds and insects. You might be thinking, how do I invite these creatures to my lawn? Well, creating a bird-friendly environment with birdhouses, feeders, and bird baths can attract ant-eating birds like sparrows and starlings. As for insects, you can attract ant-eating species like beetles by keeping your lawn healthy and diverse. Just remember, this method is a bit of a long game. It might not show results overnight, but it's an effective and eco-friendly approach. Now, let's talk about tilling your soil. This isn't just for gardeners, folks. Tilling your soil can help control ants by disrupting their nests and making your lawn less of a comfy home for them. How do you do it? Well, you'll need a garden tiller or a cultivator. These tools help you turn and mix the soil, breaking up ant colonies. Remember to till when the soil is dry for the best results. But be mindful, too much tilling can harm your lawn structure and beneficial organisms living there. So use this method as part of a broader ant control strategy. Chemical control. If you're dealing with a serious infestation, granular insecticides might be your best bet. Spread them around your lawn, and when the ants carry these granules back to their colony, it's game over for them. Another option is liquid insecticides. They can be sprayed directly onto ant trails and mounds. It's like drawing a line in the sand and saying, no more. Professional Ant Control If the DIY route isn't cutting it, bring in the pros. Pest control services have the big guns, like potent, long-lasting treatments. But remember, folks, we love our environment, right? 
So, always go for pros who use eco-friendly methods. Prevention Alright, team, we've tackled identifying ants, dealing with them using various methods, and now we're on to the most important stage, prevention. Because, you know, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, right? First things first, keep your grass trim nice and short. Why? Well, ants are like tiny explorers. They love to hide and create trails in tall grass. It's like their own little jungle. So, by keeping your grass short, you're taking away their cover and making your lawn a lot less appealing. Next up, let's talk about yard debris. We're talking fallen leaves, sticks, and even clumps of cut grass. It might not seem like a big deal, but to ants, these are like mini fortresses. So, get your rake out, bag that debris, and leave them with nowhere to hide. Now, let's look up. Got tree branches touching your house? It's time for them to go. Think about it, ants are excellent climbers. Those branches are like an ant expressway leading right into your living room. And trust me, nobody wants that. So grab your pruning shears or call a professional to trim back those branches. You're not only preventing ants, but also other pests like squirrels and rats from having easy access to your home. All right, folks, that's a wrap. Remember, knowledge is power. Know your ants, pick your method, and you'll have an ant-free lawn in no time. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep your grass green and ant-free. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, please like, share, and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.